What is your name? Julian. Boo! No, I'm kidding. That's nuts. Don't do that to Julian. That's no, but you see how that, that's what Hitler did. That's what Hitler did. It's very easy to get them all very boom, boom. I'm a little intimidated, to be honest. Dude, this is scary as f <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know why I felt like Steve was gonna drop on me like a pigeon. Oh my goodness. Hey, brother. There's something different about you, brother. You are glowing. What is going on with you, man? There's a spark to you. You know, ever since I got back from Hawaii, <laughs> you know, the vibes are just a little bit more chill, man. Kalabunga? I'm, I'm just trying to live a positive life, brother. I love it. I love yeah. what you got going on right now. Yeah. I've never seen you rock a shirt yeah. like that. Mahalo. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Mahalo. Yeah. Yeah, what feeling is good, going man. on? I love what's going on. Yeah, feeling yeah. really good since I went to Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> Even the way you said Hawaii. What do you mean? Hawaii? Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah. Makalo kalo. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but it sounds Hawaiian. It does sound Hawaiian. Mokolini. Yeah. Malini. Well. There's my flight back to Hawaii. I'm yeah, going back baby. right now. You loved it? You I love it? I loved it. I mean, do you really like you? I loved it. Were you in it. heaven? <laughs> I was in heaven. When I saw your Instagram things, whatever your stories, I'm like, I saw you on a boat. Oh, yeah. A little shout out to Capri Sun. Mm -hmm. yeah. Capri Sun. Jeremiah's Red Bull. <laughs> ho holler at the Scissor Bros, man. We could use that sponsorship. Hey, man. Capri Sun. Holler at yeah. us. Holler at us, man. Can I be honest with you? I don't remember the last time I drank one. Of you buy those at the grocery store, dude? I've got a child. <laughs> <laughs> he probably shouldn't be drinking them yet, yeah. but we've got you a handful what, that we got Box for a party. drinks are okay. Yeah? Minute Maid, Capri Sun, all of it. Okay. I'll do it too. Yeah? I offered you. I gave you an if orange Red juice. If Red Bull came in a box, would you drink it? Oh, absolutely. Would you stir it like the Gatorade? You know the big, the big like. Oh, I, dude, I used to wrestle. Of course, I remember the big, the yeah. big orange containers. Yeah, I did. You yeah. know, they, you know, Gatorade had Gator gum. Well, really, dude? I used that was a game changer with cutting weight. That last one or two pounds. Oh, you eat the gum all day? No, we'd go to Seven Eleven. They had a. It was called Gator gum. I think they only had green and orange. Like the lime and orange flavor. Yeah. We just chew on that, go to the sauna, and just sweat spit. it yeah. out. Yeah. So Gator the, gum. The way that wrestling works for your weigh in, right? Like you could technically, after your weigh in, you could eat a ton of food. Oh, I had a, a cooler filled with ice with all everything all chronologically set. I had, oh, I have my Gatorade here. I got this. I got my Tiger bars. I, everything was set. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was mandatory. Would you ever eat a buffet after your weigh-in? Absolutely not. Because your body will... will cause your Reject body, it? Yeah, your body's you're... been deprived of minerals and, right, and, right, right, and right. everything. Mm. And it would be... It's just... Uh, you have to do it slowly. Yeah. I see that you're rocking a Pittsburgh shirt, Yeah, I had brother. a good trip. I had a good trip. You went to PA oh, and I went to yeah, Hawaii. Oh, yeah, my girl's out there. Yeah. Yeah, I had a Shout good time. Out. Shout out to... Uh, to PA, her, PA Pittsburgh, and your beautiful Chihuahuas. Absolutely, people Shout, loved it. Yeah, people loved that song, man. Oh yeah, they're they're the best. Uh, I want to visit again, um, and have make because uh, we stayed at the Holiday Inn Express. Uh, the the what uh, you the doing? service wasn't good there. Do you remember the Chingy song Holiday Inn? What you doing? Now they're chilling at the Holiday Inn. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Holiday Who you Inn. With? Yeah, because we kept saying, hey, like I kept Y'all going to the three front of desk. Your friends? What and are we going to do? Feel on each other and shout sip on some him one thing. Leading yeah. to another. Let the party we'll begin. begin. Stop, drop, kaboom, baby. Rub on your nipples. Some call me Lula Chris. Some call me Mr. Wiggle. Far from little. Make your average man jiggle. For shizzle, Dazel. Like, I'm you not that? a fan of Holiday Inn Express. Do you like Ching your Ludacris? Uh, I don't mind it. I don't, I'm don't. i not familiar with his The stuff. rappers? Yeah. Well, not with... 
I'm like specific with a certain rap music. Like I'm weird with it. It's like smoke. you're more of a like a classic Wu Tang guy. Yeah, like a underground, 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 I get underground that. guy. Yeah, yeah. But I like uh, who's pretty. I like you know Tupac and Dre and uh. I'm more into like there's a group called the Wascals. They're like it was like the far side. Then the, there's like the underlings, the yeah. Wascals. They like put out one album like in 1990 something. But going back to Holiday Inn Express, we went to the front desk. You said bad service. We just said, hey, can we? Can you get new towels or can you switch up the room? And then they said they lied to us. And then we'd go out and come back, and they didn't do it. I go back the next day. Hey, uh, the lady didn't do it the other day. Can you send room service to to give us clean sheets and towels? And then the 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 second lady was like, "Oh, that was so wrong. They did that to you. I am so sorry, Mister Lee. We will make sure that your room's all set." And so I go, "Oh, thank you so much." Go out, come back, nothing happened. <laughs> Does it feel weird to be called Mister Lee? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm like, what? A, what? No, I'm just Steve. I'm just Stevie. Yeah, but they go, "Welcome, Mister Lee." Yeah. Like, oh, dude. I don't. You're like, it makes you feel old. You're like, I know I'm old. It's pronounced Mister Weeby. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm old. <laughs> I know I'm old, but it, it's a reminder. Like, Mr. let's do Lee. some young, vibrant scissors. Yeah. Let's yeah. do some. Yeah. How about we do some some Hawaiian flex solos? What are flexolas? Downward flexolas. Downward? Yeah, like this. With the fist. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we do, do that. your do your wakalilis fist. The wakalokomon. Wakalokomokos. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Okay. One, two, three. Are you doing it with this a lot? Four, four. Five. If you're not, you're doing it wrong. Six. six seven, seven. Let the tension release from eight, your body. Nine. nine. Oh. 10. 10, this is going to be 11, your week, as uh, Steve says. 12, Not just your day, 13, your week. It's going to be your 14, month. Everything 15, that goes into this 16, week is because of you. 17, and you're going to make 18, greatness happen. 19, 19 and 20. 20. I felt good. Yeah, right? Yeah. I'm feeling, you know what? Every once in a while, your scissor bros need a little, we need a little, I don't want to say a break, but like, I, well, I, no, I might need it. you had a break. Huh? You had a whole life altering experience i mean you're were swimming weren't you swimming with like dolphins or oh, we'll something get to that oh, we're gonna get to it we're staying with I, pa I love for going a minute out. i love leaving la too man i love just to reconnect with everything you know what yeah, i mean yeah i love it just perspective just, exactly yeah because it's like oh the people out here just living their lives yeah normal stuff i love it you got a keyboard in front of you you feel inspired to Are you, you you feel a little inspired I could, because I mean, you got the Beach Boys yeah. vibe right now. I like it. Oh, you even got some Hawaiian sounds on there, don't you? That sounds a little Hawaiian. <laughs> Why don't you start it off a little bit? There you go. It's there. Let me try to find this. I think you found it. I see a sunset on the 
Let me try it again. I see a sunset looking back at me, and I wonder, wonder how the world's such a beautiful place. I would like to eat some cow, or maybe some pork, or maybe some more call or go. The Hawaiian vibes are strong here today, feeling so well. Gonna catch a tasty wave, gonna see a pretty babe, gonna see it on the shelf. I see the beautiful beach washing up the coral below my feet. It's a kind of local moko day. It's just a local moko day. I need some loco moco day. It's a loco moco day. A la la la. Waka lika ma loco moco moco sa ma waikiki. A mo la 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 la. A mo loco moco moco sa ma waikiki. A no moco loco. Oh no 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 no. Moco moco. Good vibes only here. It's a loco moco day, and I hope today is great as you are, my friend. Oh, la 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 la. I mean, that felt right. I felt that was good vibes. <laughs> I hope weirdest. that was, <laughs> it, was that felt, it felt one. right. It felt right, yeah. but here's what I'm gonna say. Yeah, I hope. I don't know what kind of world we're living in anymore. That was only good intent. I hope no Hawaiians are upset that we kind of were doing Hawaiian gibberish. Nah, man, right? that was it's nah. from the heart, man. It's was, from the heart. I don't know how to speak proper Hawaiian. But I don't either. I love the culture there, and I love what the do you Hawaiian like about food. what do you like about it? What was Dude. the first thing you liked about it? The weather, like, what was going on in your the head? The weather, the chillness, mm -hmm. you know, just like everybody was in a trying to be in a good mood because it's a big deal for a lot of people. Like my wife and myself, we've never been to a place like Hawaii. We wanted yeah, to yeah, soak I forgot it up. she was with you. Yeah, did she love it? She loved it, like it was immediately. Awesome. Oh, we had the best time. But back to Pennsylvania. We'll get to Hawaii for a second. <laughs> Well, I want you to, I love P I want you I love to talk PA. about it. Yeah, I know you do. I love Pittsburgh. I know. Yeah. What I didn't realize how big Mac Miller was there. Oh, really? Yeah, Mac Miller is like considered like their like Elvis Presley in a way. Like I went to a, because I was, a, I went to a vape shop out there and the, the uh, immediately the worker, she was a female, tattoos and she was, she just disclosed out of like nowhere. She's like, oh, I w something about going to Mac Miller's last concert or something. And my girl is a big Mac Miller fan. And so, yeah. Just do you think it has to do with being from Pennsylvania? Yeah, or well, no, it... he's from specifically he's from Pittsburgh, I believe. And so like they take a lot of pride in Mac Miller. I didn't know. You didn't know that? No, I had no idea. Yeah. So I'm Are you like, a Mac Miller fan? I like that song. I like that song. Don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Don't know. I like that song a lot. Cool. Um it's more of his melodic, slower songs, but um, you think it was as good as Locomoco Day? I don't know. Locomoco Day was pretty damn solid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just checking. Yeah, um, the weather was nicer because the last time I was there it was icicles and freezing cold, but like this time it was like, oh, I'm just wearing shorts. And uh, yeah, there was um a couple other. I I was I went to uh Mon City, and uh we. I saw fireworks there. Oh, I actually, really? I actually got footage of it. You got some footy? I you got know, a several. You know that your boy likes some footage on this podcast. Can we cut, cut to? Can we cut to some of the fireworks? I thought because you know it's been a, it was a minute since I saw fireworks. <laughs> so we're at Mon City enjoying the fireworks show at Mon City, Pennsylvania. Mon City. Mon City, Pennsylvania. That's right. Mon City. Mm -hmm. 
youtube.com slash scissorbros. Subscribe today. <laughs> Yeah. Also, um, there's a cool gas station there called Sheets. So shout out to Sheets with a Z. And you um, know that Sheets is considered one of like the classic gas stations. You don't. In the you've US. heard about it. You've heard about it. I've only heard of the legend of Sheets. So Sheets is awesome. I mean, they they remember sell- when we went to Wawa? Yeah. There's two divisions of people I've heard. Yeah, there's a she- Wawa, Wawa side versus and a sheets. sheets. They they go head to head. Yeah, whether- they go head to head because they have a similar. It's like um, I'll give you an example. It's like um, Jersey Mike's versus Subway or something Whoa. like that. It's like two competitors. Yeah, but yeah, I'm I'm all the way Sheets because Sheets is like their go to in her area. Yeah, I think. Hold uh- on just a second. You're saying right here, right now in this podcast that you're a Sheets guy? Because I'm a Wawa guy, my brother. <laughs> you better watch what you're saying. I Comment have to do below sheets. if you are a Sheets guy or a Wawa I gal, have to go sheets. whatever you are. I have to go Sheets. Because of the, the nature of where they're located around her area. Because they, it's a real rivalry. Wait it's a, a real second. Thing. I have to go Take Pittsburgh, baby. Take loved ones out of it, baby. No, no, I have to go. Listen. What? No, no. baby. No. No, Hold baby. on just a second. Take <laughs> the believe, loved ones out of I it. I can't believe this is an issue. No, no, no. To be this is a big you. issue. It's so ridiculous. This is a big issue to Woo! me. It's a big issue. You want to know why? Why? Because it says a lot about what kind of person you are, well, which one that you choose. Well, I, I think I got some footage that might steer you back to Sheets. Because when I was in Sheets, you know, our favorite milkshake machine? That we found in Arizona? They have one at Sheets? Let's cut to that footage. <laughs> hey, Jeremiah. Does it look familiar to you? Look, they have their own shake machine here as well. We're at Sheets, Jeremiah. See? Hi, Jeremiah. <laughs> I mean... Okay. I mean that that's a huge that's a factor because I know how much you love those milkshakes. I milkshake. love that milkshake yeah, machine. Yeah, and then see what I'm saying. They got that at Sheets. Well, I just showed you. I know. Yeah, I just showed you. I know, that's but I have evidence. to double confirm. Yeah, dude. I got to double yeah, confirm, brother. Dude. They got that milkshake machine, bro. Uh, Not only that, dude. Sheets, they they have tater tots. I got a bucket. Shut your I got a mouth. bucket of tater tots, different sauces, not just ketchup. They got like five to seven different sauces. 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 So- you started saying it. You, you said it different. I had to go you, Joe Pesci. You threw a little sauces. bit of, a bit, a little bit of yeah, spice go, on there. Yeah, I had to go some a little sauces. East Coast. Some sauces. I mean, come on. Forget about it. Some Listen, sauces, man. Do the some tater sauces. tots have some sauces? That's what I want to yeah, know. Yeah, they got a bucket. You can get a butt like a Did you get a cork. bucket? Yeah, dude. I went all in, bro. I had a bagel. Dude, I had a bagel um breakfast sandwich. They had everything in it. Sour cream, avocado, uh, guacamole, egg, bacon. Everything is just boom. Late night, brother. Listen, man. So I don't know. Don't what tempt it, me to I come know, to so the you're sheet have to cross side. Over to the real don't, side. Don't tempt me to come to the sheet side brother because mm-hmm. you're scaring me a little bit with some of this information i was unaware that they had uh, that's what i'm tater saying tots there. yeah yeah so um not only that i uh the only problem is i had um i i try to do a like there's a grocery store called aldi a-l-d-i why are you saying it like you've never heard of it have you never heard of aldi I have heard it in passing, but I, d- I never brought it up as like You've a bullet point. You've never been to an Aldi? Well, I, I tried going to one. And let's. <laughs> so can you get the sign? Yeah. Hi, guys. Stevie here. I'm in Mc- McMurray, Pennsylvania, and I wanted to, uh, I'm at Aldi uh, grocery store, and it's similar to the Ralph's in where I live in Los Angeles. Come on, let's, let's go check it out. It's called Aldi. <laughs> So, I like the sign. I like the sign already because it looks kind of like, I don't know, like science, sci-fi, kind of like, you could see that like maybe on a spacecraft or something. But come on in, this is Aldi. This is their most common grocery store. It's got a combination of Whole Foods and maybe a Trader Joe's or something. Come on in. <laughs> They're closed. Come on in. 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 Come on in.
Oh, th this is the thing I've never, I've never been, I've never been to a Halloween. Can we do a quick walkthrough? I mean, if I give you like $10, Sorry, go ahead. Okay, so that's it. That, that was, hold up. So there you go, guys. Can we get a little, hold up. Okay. Let me at least get, so this is it, Aldi. So I was but unfortunate. That was, was your first time in an Aldi. Yeah, Dude, and it was. There an open, are so. some things today that are blowing my mind. You, but this is the thing. You, you, you're a headliner comic now. Let's not get that twisted. You travel every week, okay? That so has, hear me. That has a lot to do with because you're always flying to different places, and that has nothing to do with Aldi, though. What? What do you mean? Because Aldi, a, there's one in the valley. In California, there's an Aldi, and then I didn't know about that. <laughs> Classic Steve, I didn't know. I go, <laughs> I go, I know what I know in my what, neighborhood, brother. What do you mean? I I, I didn't. Know. I know Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, Ralph's. Okay, Vons. Let me explain. Yeah, at the Aldi that I went to as a kid, you had to have a quarter to put it in the cart because they were worried about the clientele that went there stealing the carts. That's how much they have lack of faith in their clientele. They thought that they were going to steal the shopping cart if you didn't put a quarter slot in it to push it. How long has Aldi been around then? Like, you're really blowing Dude, my Dude, my mind. grandma loved it. She would go there all the time in Kansas. In Kansas, though. So. And let's say Aldi has outsurvived my grandma. R.I.P. grandma. Love you. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. I thought that was only a East Coast, Midwest, East Coast, th East Coast thing. There's one in There's one in California. Really? I mean, there's there's more than one, I'm sure, but there's one in the Valley. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Did you like it? Well, they they were closing. They they. Oh, that's they were, right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I but, mean, I like what I saw. But did you like it? Yeah, because I, I looked in. I'm like, oh, it reminded me of like half Whole Foods, half Trader Joe's type deals. It is. They, they got you know some good. I mean? they got, like, oh, they're bargains it for looked, sure. It looked nice. Bargains. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, well, maybe next time I'll be able to get the full experience. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, I love my grocery store shopping. Yeah. I was I was going to get a bunch of snacks. Yeah. Um, I had a little, Um, I didn't realize that they had um, a cool, beautiful lake down below where my girl used to work. She used to work around there at a pizza place. So I, I it was, we, we, we experienced a beautiful sunset. Uh, it's at Cannonsburg Lake. Can I show you that footage? I would love it. Stevie here. Just want to give you this great view of Cannonsburg Lake here. Um, we're here in Cannonsburg. Look how beautiful the setting is. Look at that. Mm. Cannonsburg Lake. Okay. As you can see, there's people that you can fish down here. Look at this sunset real, really quick. All right, this is Cannonsburg Lake. Okay, look at that. We look at that. Okay. Having a great time here in Pennsylvania. Okay. What? Wow. Hey, can you hold it real quick? And then... So this is Cannonsburg Lake here in beautiful Pennsylvania. Look at the beautiful water. Look at the beautiful sunset. Okay, we're having a great time here in Pennsylvania, Cannonsburg. I highly uh, suggest it if you're around this area. Until next time. Stevie here. Until next time. I mean, that was great. You know, the, that I was give a it, beautiful sunset. I yeah, will give you that. Beautiful. They had, we saw there's these river, not river rats. I mean, that's maybe the slang form, but we saw beavers there. Or otters. Otters or beavers. What? Yeah, man. Well, I, I, I which was one was it? I don't know. They said... I was confused because... Um, well, they the beavers... They referred to a river... Because the, there's... The beavers have the tails and then they go that... Yeah, you know, it, was an, it, was, it was an otter, I think. It was like a river otter or something. Mm. Or the slang thing is river rat. But we saw... Because there's people fishing... There's a man fishing there. They weren't fishing for otters, no, right? No, no. The otter, the otter just happened to be swimming by. Okay. So I thought that was interesting. I'm like, oh, I didn't know these things existed down yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that it was pretty beautiful, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, I had a, I had a good time. Um, now, the pizza place that you girl used to work at, did have you eaten pizza there? God, yeah. I can't think of the name of the place in Pittsburgh. It's, but you did eat there. Yeah, it was damn good. Damn good. I've had a sense that you guys might have eaten there. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, no, we've had several pizza there. Yeah, but this, God, I can't I think of the 
name. It's okay. It was right by this record store there, um, but it was damn good. The cheese, the sauce. There's one place. Oh, what is it? Um, but no, but we. There's this place in Ohio, I think, called. Is it called Adriaticos? That was really phenomenal when I had it that one time. But anyway, I don't even know if that's there's the, something the about name. East Coast pizza. It's you know, it's just they make it a little different. Yeah, a little different. But there's we did have me- we did have Mexican food. Yeah, yeah, and I really enjoyed it. I had uh, two. To- uh, I have footage from that. Did you- you, I, I'm into this, dude. Because here's oh, the thing. Oh, you know, I had to come through with my vlogs, baby. Yo, brother, I you love had, it. Yeah, and our listeners and viewers love it. Oh, they do. So shout could, out, give Steve some love in the comments yeah. for providing us with footage. Because I love it when you have vlog footage, baby. Let's cut to it, baby. <laughs> Sano Mexican restaurant, very good food. Um, I highly suggest it. Suggest it if you're around this area. And uh, I had the two uh, shredded beef tacos, uh, which came with refried beans and rice. Thank you. And what did the waiter catch you saying to me? The waiter, ca- okay, so the waiter caught me saying, I said, I want to eat your pussy tonight. And, uh, but going back to, oh, one positive thing about the Holiday Inn Express, they did have their own pancake machine. Well, for their with their for their continental breakfast. The last time that you, you tried to get that pancakes. was a waffle. That was a waffle machine. Are you talking about the? Well, go ahead. Wait, this was a pancake this machine. This was a pancake. I machine. I don't know if I've seen that at one of the holidays. Yeah, I always so, see the waffle ones, but I don't know if I've seen. So the pancake yeah, one. I um I have footage of that too. As far as the way they came out, can we cut to it? I would love that. <laughs> You want you really want one that bad? Yes. Oh my goodness. After that? It's crazy town. Those look soft. I'm telling you, you gotta try one. What a good breakfast. This has a better breakfast. Yeah. So I didn't show you the actual machine, but what all you ha- would have to do is press a button. So you just take your plate and put it at the end of that thing, and then you just pr- and then under a minute it goes, and then it just and there are the, those mini pancakes that come out. Did you ever see the movie Spy Kids? Again, this I have not. We see different types. I have not seen it. Okay. <laughs> what can you? I didn't mean to cut you down, but oh no, there's just a scene that's like. That I think every kid uh, who has seen Spy Kids wanted. Mm-hmm. They had these little um, packs that are like these little um, thin things that they would put in the microwave and they would hit a button. And like in five seconds, a full cheeseburger meal would come out out of this tiny pack. You grew up with a whole different set of movies, brother, than I did. I feel like I missed out because I'm from a different generation. You know, like where... Because... Uh, you were mentioned we're in a car ride somewhere. I think when we're driving, I mentioned center. a lot of Disney. Kind yeah, of movies you're and... like a Disney guy or something. Or where, I like the you... movies, not the land. <laughs> oh, you're not a Disneyland. Disney I'm not world. a Disneyland guy. You're not a Disneyland guy. Nope. Why not? Overrated. Ooh, we might have to edit that out. What do you mean? Because people. I know some people, people love it, but I, I think mean, it's, it's a fantasy overrated. World. I mean, the overrated. castle. And, wow. Yeah, dude. All right, that's fair. I didn't go as a child, though, so they didn't get their Disney claws in me. They did not. Nope. Well, I, you know, I kind of covered a lot of uh, Pittsburgh stuff, didn't I, just now? And well, you, I enjoyed it. But the thing is, I want to know more about your Hawaiian experience, because this is even bigger. Cause you've never been there. Well, So you've been to Hawaii before, right? Oh, yeah. I had food poisoning there. Oh, okay. Eating a mocha loco. Loco no. mocha. Oh, diarrhea, all that. Throwing up diarrhea, throwing up diarrhea, throwing up diarrhea. Yeah. Uh, it was I, when I was with Monchi. As you could tell from the, our Moco Loco song, I love me some Moco Loco. I had it multiple describe times. Describe what it is. Okay. So I, the best way that I know how to describe it is it's like rice uh, with like a, like a hamburger patty. Uh, with a fried egg over with it. With a fried egg over and it. And gravy. some gravy. And gravy. Okay. So we just described it together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah, describe it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> we, we we did it together. Right? Yeah, We're we sisters brothers. We did it. Yeah, we did. Yeah. It. I want to know when you realize, oh, this I I'm I'm relaxed now. This is great. Was it right when you landed and you 
set foot in you, the airport. You know what? There, so I flew um, into the Honolulu airport, mm-hmm. and it was so chill. It was small, wasn't it? It was a small, it's a small little dinky, nice mm-hmm. airport. Mm-hmm. Um, that uh, you know, I'm sure that they play this for all the tourists because this is like one of their national songs. But um, uh, you know that song where it's like somewhere. Oh, they play that 24-7, 365. Uh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Who's the big dude that they, they, they worship this big singer? This big Samoan dude. Who's that guy? Yeah, it's beautiful. But they you know play one of my, it everywhere. They play you, it at Kmart. They play it everywhere. It's it's their uh it's their California Love version. You know, in like everywhere in L.A., they're like California knows yeah, how to party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they they. Or California, California. Okay, you, I lost you on that. No, one. <laughs> I like that song, but they definitely don't play that everywhere. Cal, wait, who sings that? <laughs> California, brother. That I believe that's was a that yellow on, card. Was that was a that yellow on card Dawson's song? Creek or something? Whoa, what? No, it was, it was on, on a show, dude. The OC. Yeah, we've been on the run, driving yeah. in the sun, <laughs> looking at the number one California. <laughs> yeah, we come oh, right back where it. we started from. Can't stand it. Boo. Guns. Yeah. <laughs> Boo. Guns. I hate that. I hate it. I hate it. I couldn't. I can't stand it. No, no, California. I'm, 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 I'm think, California. I'm no, I forget the name of the band who's uh, Yellow Card saying, uh, There's a place off Ocean Avenue. I, if we could find no. ourselves, we could no. be better. No. You remember no, that? No, do you remember those? Not a fan of any of it. Oh, okay, California. Oh man, I did a parody years ago in high school. Instead of the OC, it was called the Casey, mm-hmm. and it was a parody of that show. And I filmed it with friends as like a as like a comedy sketch in high school. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, man. It's starting to feel a little humid, like Hawaii up in here, huh? Do you want to take a heat break? Oh, what does that entail? Heat break. Heat go break. to your fridge right now and go get yourself an ice cold drink. Step outside, get some fresh air. And then come on back to the podcast in 30 seconds. Oh, doesn't this feel nice? Feels great. Yeah, so we hope you're taking us a second for your mental health right now with us, your scissor brothers, and just taking a moment and if you need to let the sun hit your face a little bit. Let's mm. do it right here. Let's do it right here. Yeah. Let's do it right here. Mmm, wow. feels okay. great. It's just cool, Good. cool breeze. Cool breeze. All that. You know? Yeah. You know? Take a moment to yourself. Yeah, absolutely. What a nice day. This feels good, right? Oh yeah. Alright, well let's let's head back in. Okay. Oh yes. Mmm. That felt amazing. We should do that, you know. I, you know what? Every time. I think on the podcast, sometimes we get into, you know, sometimes we do dance breaks. That's mm-hmm. a new segment that we could have, like where it's just like, yo. Take 30 seconds for your mental health because you know what? There's been some crazy stuff going on in our lives lately. Oh, absolutely. Sometimes we just need a second. Yeah. We should actually, I don't know if we're going to do a dance segment, but I wanted to do maybe a luau dance too. Yeah? Like, yeah, like a little Honolulu luau dance. Uh-huh. Do, 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 do. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Can we do that? Do you want to do that right now? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> but you need to do the do, do, do. Okay, so you get to just stay... Sat. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, it's going to be a Hana Luau. Wait a second. I I forgot the music. Can I add it in later? Absolutely. Okay. Okay, Five, four, three, two, one. You know, I like this. That feels great. Hope you did that along with us okay. at home, right? Are you doing it with us at home? We hope that you're doing a little bit of a luau right now with luau us. Luau music, luau dance break. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I've been remiss um, 
some people have been talking about this for a while, and uh, I think that we've been neglecting somebody on this show. Brothers! The hot summer months are here, and we need to be proactive about keeping our bodies fuel and hydrated. Making hydration is a priority helps us feel healthier. One stick of liquid IV and 16 ounces of water hydrates you 10 times faster and more efficiently than water alone. You know what? I think we should try some right now. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, cheers, brother. Cheers. I genuinely love the taste of liquid IV. Woo! I mean, it, it it tastes great, and they've got 10 refreshing flavors. Like, I just had Concord Grape. Pina phenomenal. Colada. Lemon Lime, Tropical Punch. Um, one of my favorite flavors is actually strawberry, and then they got that watermelon, you know, that, that watermelon sugar high that, like, Harry Styles sings about. Yeah. It could be liquid IV. We don't really know, but we love it. But <clears throat> liquid IV contains five essential vitamins. B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C, dude. Yeah, man. With three times the electrolytes of traditional- Wait, wait, wait. What did you just say? I said with three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks, Liquid IV is on a mission to change the world. For every purchase, they donate a serving to someone to in need. You know man. what I like about this stuff? Is what? you can hit this before or after you're like on the court or on the field or yeah. whatever. It makes you yeah. feel replenished before you even go out and repairs your muscles in need of that dehydration. To date, Liquid IV has actually donated over 24 million servings globally. What is that, worldwide? Globally? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Worldwide. <laughs> Grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco or get 20% off when you go to- Get 25% off when 25%. you go to Liquid. Go to liquidiv.com and use code SCISSORBROS at, at checkout. Check out. It's pretty cool, man. Yeah. You know? Liquid, Liquid IV. IV. And also, that's 25% ah. off anything in your order. Yeah. When you shop Better Hydration today, yeah. using promo code SCISSORBROS at, at liquidiv.com. Did you set the, the teleprompter to slow again? Yeah! Righteous. Righteous, brother. <laughs> it was so slow. But you know what? It worked. It worked. <laughs> Liquid IV. <laughs> and Gerald or Terrence? I think both, to be honest. Oh, man. Can we just... I'm going to... Terrence, it's been a long time since I checked in with you, brother. Yeah. How are you doing? What is new in your life? I find it ironic that people leave me out of the conversation mm. when I, I am not tree. just a tree. I'm also and a friend. What about our friend over there, Steve? So, Gerald, mm. I'm sorry for oh. not talking to you. Okay. Um, It's been yeah, what, a right couple there. weeks, huh? It's been, yeah. Uh, you know we love mm. you. How you been? G uh, give us an update, Gerald. I still want to get the tattoo of you. This ain't a threat. It's a promise. I'll fuck you bitches up if you don't give me more screen time. I'm over this shit. All right, that's a little bit inappropriate, Gerald. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know. He's it, honest, though. If He's that's how honest. you want to use this platform, then we love you and we respect you, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, go fuck yourselves. You oh, keep ignoring wow. me. I'm sorry. So more back to Hawaii. Okay, sure. Do you care for real quick if I say some shows that I have coming up? <laughs> Dude, I always ahead. I always forget, and then like we don't we're even have to ask. I know, but then you I don't have to ask. It's like me, like I, you know, it's like me you always asking to use your bathroom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's I mean, a nice I way to put it. I destroyed your bathroom earlier, by the way. I destroyed it. Then I'm definitely gonna read these. <laughs>
<laughs> Madison, Wisconsin. I'll be there August 4th through 6th. Dallas, Texas, August 12th through 13th. Huntington Beach, I'm headlining August 20th. Albany, New York, August 26th through 27th. And Fort Worth, Texas, September 23rd through 24th. Get your tickets at jeremiahwatkins.com. I love you guys. I appreciate all the Scissor siblings who come out to see me live on the road. There's people who came out in Napa when I went there and even in Hawaii. We had Scissor siblings in uh, Hawaii. They wanted me to no. tell you hello, man. So you had scissor siblings in Hawaii? Yeah. Oh, that's love. Right? I'm just like, that's I'm so love. freaking grateful, dude. Wow. And um, Do they have the shirts and everything, some of them? Uh, they had Tiger Belly shirts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. They didn't have the scissor, All right. scissor brush well, shirts. Close they, enough. They, what's close? It's close hey, enough. Hey, it's a Jason, huh? baby. At it's least Jason. it's uh, within the family lineage somewhat. Yeah. Close enough. Yeah. Get your Scissor Bro shirts too, though, huh? There you go. There you go. Yeah. Uh, and I appreciate everybody. Um, I know I uh, uh, promote it uh, from time to time on the show. It's been a lot lately. Uh, all the stand-up on the spot support. Um, there's another one coming out uh, on, on Monday with Andrew Santino, Joel Jimenez, Mike Feeney, Otsko. You know Ron? What do you mean? I don't you know Ron, Ron Funches? You, you guys are You know Ron? No. I met him maybe once. I love Ron. Yeah, we're close friends. Oh, we got to link up with that guy. That guy's into video games, too. Should we have him on Scissor Bros? Uh, yeah. He would definitely do it. Yeah, immediately. Do you guys want to see Ron Funches on Scissor Bros? Immediately. Comment below. Immedi yeah? Yeah, dude. Okay, I'll ask him. That should be our next one. Really? Yeah, bro. Okay, I'll ask him. That dude's a shit. I love him. Yeah. 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 I think he'll dig the vibe here, too. He's a very positive guy. And he's, he, in the, he's a gamer, dude. He, does, he plays video games. He got me into Twitch. He's a guy who gave That's me my I'm PlayStation. Saying. He's a perfect fit, dude. Yeah. Perfect okay. fit. Yeah, cool. dude. I'll, I'll holler at him. Yeah, yeah. You see it? If you see him, I'll probably see him sometime this week. I'll text him. Yeah. 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 Oh, that'd be great. Okay, cool. Yeah, dude. Yeah, no, he'll he'll fit in great with the oh, vibes Oh, yeah, that'd be, dude. That'd be fun. Yeah. That'd be a lot of fun. Uh, Yeah, so when I landed in Hawaii, um, they were playing that song and like, well, here's, I, was, I just love the Hawaii airport in Honolulu. Here's a little footage from that. So I just flew into Honolulu Airport and this is definitely the prettiest airport I've ever flown into. This is like a courtyard in the middle between arrivals and baggage claim where people can just chill and walk as they get out of here. Pretty cool. Is that a Civil War statue? Turn down! Yeah. This guy's packing, dude. So we had an amazing time in Honolulu in general, but one thing that I kept hearing from the locals is like, oh, you're, yeah, you're staying in Honolulu. Like, you're kind of in the Vegas part of Hawaii. Yeah, because that's where all the malls are and everything. Right, mm -hmm. right. So um, we took that in and we asked some of like the concierge and some different scissor siblings actually mm -hmm. recommended us different food spots and also... Um, some different beaches and places to go to. So I went, went to, to local beaches. Yeah, I went to this really? place called Kailua Beach. Shout out to Kailua. And I've got some footage from there. Pretty beautiful out here, Honolulu, Hawaii. It's about five thirty in the morning, and I'm gonna go to Kailua Beach. I'm out at Kailua Beach right now. It got recommended to me by some locals and some scissor siblings. And definitely a good chill call. It's kind of on the path of uh, the main Honolulu Waikiki Strip. It took about 30, 35 minutes to get here. And it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty beautiful out here. Yeah. Now, nah, were the waves like huge? Not at all. I wasted money on a boogie board. <laughs> you went boogie boarding? I tried. Oh my goodness. And guess what, brother? What? Didn't happen. <laughs> Dude, how big were the waves? Oh, they were so mellow. It was unbelievable. You know what's crazy? They were so mellow. I noticed that too because... Uh, I think we were just on the wrong beach. Yeah, when I was there too. The two like, beaches that we went to. Yeah, because there's like bigger breaks, but they always... I think they're just looking out for you because if you went to the real 
the real, real, real spots, the locals. it would be like ten foot yeah, waves. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we were just at the wrong beaches. We're uh, but yeah, but Kailua, dude. We were because what's so cool about Hawaii is on Pacific Standard Time versus like Hawaii time. Uh, it's like they're three hours behind us. Okay, that's interesting. So we gained three hours. So we were waking up every day at five thirty in the morning. Oh, you want to make the most out of your yeah. So we went. <laughs> We 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 left. We were getting Ubers at five thirty, and then coming back at three thirty, brother. We were in bed by eight thirty every night. We were there because we were wiped. We spent the whole day out and did about. You, did you did you try poke bowls or the ice? Cone? One of my favorite moments was because it's fresh. The poke bowl that mm-hmm. we had, I think it was called Pokey Fix, was the name of this place that uh, one of the ladies at, at the front desk uh, recommended. She's like, "Oh, this is like a non touristy spot that I go to." I was like, "Oh yeah, let's go." Yeah, let's I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, they catch Ahi, it. They caught dude, it that day. Yeah. They go four hours ago. You're like, it was I'll phenomenal. Take that. And you mentioned the snow cone thing. Oh, you. Yeah, that's a must. I got some footage of that. So it looks like they put shaved ice, then soft serve, then shave ice. Very interesting process here. <laughs> and this is uh, their snow ice that they're making. That's what they call it. Pretty fascinating stuff. And this is what the finished product looks like. Yum yum. Well, you want to know the biggest highlight for me? Think about it. Bring it on. I thought about it. Bring it on. Your boy Jeremiah swam with a sea turtle for the first time in his life. <laughs> you did. And it almost brought tears to my eyes, brother. <laughs> Is that the footage of you on the boat? Oh, yeah. We went on a, it was touristy, but I don't even freaking care because we saw a sea turtle in its natural element. I swam with a sea turtle. I swam underneath it. Wait, how did you hold, before we show that, I have had a, a, one question. Yeah. How did you set that up? Is there, at your They've hotel, got a did tour. they have a schedule or something? It was. Or pamphlets or it's something? It's the most I've ever spent on a tour before. <laughs> Okay, it was me. not a frugal bro purchase, but I was, I've was i never you, been to Hawaii. Can you throw the price out there, please? No, I cannot. Just let me know. Yeah. Throw the price. I'll tell you. Go ahead. Not now. Oh, can I, how about this? Can I guess? And no, we've done this before. Let me just, I already know how, I already know. All right, it was six million. No, it was $425. I don't know. Why did you know that? <laughs> Frugal Brothers back. Wait, hold up. The Frugal, frugal brothers, brothers back, back again. again. Mm. The, the frugal, frugal Brothers, brothers back, back again. again. It was something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I kind of knew. Yeah, man. Yeah, because anything over three. But you know what though? <laughs> yeah. It was so worth it, man. See, there you go. Because it's a life I, experience. I don't my splurge friend. on stuff you very often because you know we got we got a baby, we got the whole yeah, thing. You know, you trying splurge. to keep it frugal, but yeah. like for that, it was so worth it. And my uh, my wife's sister and mom watched the baby, so like we could just enjoy the trip. Yeah. How was the weather, dude? Phenomenal. It was just great. It rained a little bit on. Yeah. Um, like here and there, uh, but I got to show you this. I didn't, there, the footage, you don't see the turtle in it, but you'll see how excited I am. My wife caught me in the water, uh, like on the way to see a turtle. Oh. What are you about to do? I'm about to go see a freaking turtle. <laughs> So stoked! I was. Stoked I literally. It was like a. I was stoked. It was for like you. a spiritual I know. moment. Me swimming next to this creature of the sea that I. I just have this. I just always have loved turtles. What since is I was that? A little yeah, kid. you know me too. I, there's something about turtles that are just so, just so like, uh, you get attached to them somehow. You know, what I think it is. Is I think that non-threatening turtle. Yeah, they they're they're, they're kind of tranquil. They're kind of the cool. Shell. There's something mysterious about them because I feel like they're a link to the dinosaurs from yeah. the past. You know what I mean? So it's just kind of like this. Uh, 
majestic creature yeah, in my it's majestic, mind. You know what it's I mean? It's serene. It's like just a And cool... like I like that turtles like they do things on their own time. Yeah. They're kinda like me. I, I, I could really relate to yeah. just how slow they move. Yeah. Just yeah, just real slow, yeah. Yeah, the only time that it rained uh, a little bit was um, we went on this hike. I think it was called Manoa Falls, maybe. Um, it was like this waterfall hike, and I, I found this little uh, creek on the way, and they had like also wild roosters that were around. Oh. <laughs> on a little waterfall hike right now. Pretty cool. Okay, there are freaking wild roosters out here, dude. Check them out, dude. Real in there. What's up, brother? Yeah. Pretty sick, dude. Hawaii is crazy. I love it. I was so happy to see you out there. I'm like, let Jeremiah. You notice I didn't. I didn't text you once. Yeah. And because I was mindful, I'm like, I knew it was a life experience. I'm like, yeah. You know what? I try to I, give you your space when you go to PA yeah, or yeah, Arizona yeah, or whatever. I, I appreciate that. But I, for this, I knew it was special for you. And I'm like, let Jeremiah do his thing. It and was I, awesome, man. Yeah, I'm so happy. It's not, would you, would you, you definitely would go back. Definitely w would go back. It's a life goal to go back again, for sure. Um, Same island, different island? I would want to do a different island only because I had enough people that were like, oh, you're kind of in the Vegas part. But like mm -hmm. we went on that boat tour, we went far enough away where... Uh, it it felt very different vibe wise from that main strip because yeah. the Vegas night lifestyle like I told you we were in bed every night by eight thirty that's just not my thing yeah um, the the only night that we were there uh, that I was up later than that was when I had uh, my comedy show that night yeah you know so that's great yeah and was that like attached to a mall it looked like kind of like a yeah mall the area. Blue Note it was a really cool venue dude. I guess Kenny G plays there all the time. He's still alive? Yeah. The saxophone player? How old do you think he is? He's not that old. Kenny G's been around. Dude. Yeah, but he's like in late 50s, early 60s. No, he's... He's like late 50s. Late 60s. No, he's not no. that old. There's, there's No, he's not Kenny that old. Kenny G, the saxophone guy. Yeah. That guy's been... He's been in it for a minute. There's dude. a great HBO documentary about him. On Kenny G? Yeah. That Check it out. It's good. That dude's the bomb, huh? I love it. Well, he's very polarizing in, in the sa in the saxophone and jazz community. Yeah. Because he's kind of like, people consider him like the pop of jazz. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I remember I he had though. beautiful hair even back then. He had long hair. And yeah. Yeah. Yo, there was this one moment, the, the, one of the many things that the pandemic screwed up. Pete Holmes was going to have Kenny G live at his show at Largo in LA. Have you met Pete Holmes? Yeah, we're, we're buddies. Pete Holmes, the guy from SNL? That's Pete Davidson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Edit that out, please. I know Pete Davidson, though. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've done shows together oh, over the years. Okay, gotcha, so he was gotcha. a stand-up yeah, 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 um, yeah. over the years, but no, that's a different guy. Yeah. Um, Pete Holmes was going to have Kenny G. He's going to interview him for his podcast at Largo Live, mm. and we had a bit worked out where I was going to come out in a Kenny G wig playing sax oh. for Kenny G, and it was going to be me as Benny G, his brother that nobody knew about. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, no. It would have been great. That's a great bit. COVID knocked it away. Oh, no. We'd n it never That's happened. That's a great idea. It's a, that would have been so funny. I know. It would have been awesome. Oh it would have been epic. God. We were going to surprise Benny him. Benny G. Benny G, man. I had the oh. wig and everything. I looked awesome. I bet. I was I ready mean, that to been go. that would have been funny, dude. Of course. So oh. I, Kenny G and I haven't crossed paths yet, but you know I think we're someday. Gonna make that we're going to put it the out there. The universe will make that happen. I think so. Kenny G and Benny G. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Imagine opening for him. Comedy opening for. Yeah. And then I close with a little bit of sex. Benny G. And then you have the same hairstyle as him. Right. The same suit, whatever. He's oh, wearing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, That'd be funny. God, yeah. That would be funny. And at the end, you do like a whole. A, a duet. A, yeah, dude. It'd be so fun. Oh, I'd love it. I know. I'd People love would it. love it. Vegas 
a Vegas show. You never know. Kenny G. You never know. Yeah. Uh, the only other place we went to is kind of more of a fast food place, but we got more Moco Loco and some different stuff there. Uh, there's this place called Rainbow Drive-In mm -hmm. that had amazing food and uh, gave a little review of that right here. Just ate at Rainbow Drive-In. If you've never been there in Honolulu, Hawaii, you gotta go get the Moco Loco plate or the mixed plate, the chili and the gravy fries. All amazing. I loved it. Five out of five scissors, baby. Dude, Hawaii, baby. It was amazing. I had yeah. an amazing time, and I'm I'm uh, grateful that uh, you know that I was able to do shows out there. So it was like you know a little bit of like work, but the work allowed us to be able to afford to go. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so, that's amazing. So I looked yeah. at that at the shows as just like we're gonna use this show money as and all that stuff oh, as yeah as you have vacation to. It was a life time. experience so it's awesome man you know it'd be crazy i just thought of a crazy future uh scissor bro challenge what if like we happen to be on the north shore a boogie boarding like a big wave boogie boarding <laughs> who can who can do the biggest wave the biggest wave boogie boarding challenge i'm in <laughs> I love boogie boarding. I do too. Yeah, but you know they they look down on that the surfers. Oh, I know. They don't. It's like uh, yeah, rollerbladers to skateboarders. They call us river rats. Yeah, it's like they look down on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I've seen Point Break. Oh yeah, great movie, dude. Yeah, great freaking movie. Yeah, yeah. See, now we're on the same wavelength. That'd be amazing. Like a twenty foot bodyboarding. Oh my god, That'd be crazy. Yeah. I wonder if we could make that happen. Hmm. Comment below if you want to see it. You know, we uh, we filmed a bunch of challenges at Camp Raw, mm. and this one is a lot of fun uh, that we're going to toss it to. Uh, and the punishment is pretty gnarly. Uh, I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Um, I think I know which one. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it was a it, it was, was a, it was one of the gnarliest ones as far as I the know. as far as the punishment. But yep. yeah, let's not. Well, let's it. just cut to the footage, and we're gonna end the podcast with saying that we love you guys. Yes, uh, we appreciate you being here. If you have any suggestions for us, you know, like we try to pay attention to the comments and see what you guys are digging, what you guys are liking. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're gonna try to get more guests on the show too, spice it up. Um, as always, we never want the show to feel. Stale. stagnant or stale or whatever mm. but um we appreciate the engagement and the comments and the likes and um uh we've kind of chilled out on our subscriber cl climb recently so we definitely need to start pushing people to subscribe more but youtube.com slash scissor bros clips is back up and active mm -hmm. we're going to start uploading new clips there daily uh that's a big deal that um that we're doing and then we're still in search of our of our producer. We've mm -hmm. been getting some emails and stuff and uh, we're checking those out and responding to those. So thank you guys for watching and let's cut to the challenge to close it out, baby. Welcome to the rock wall challenge at camp raw. Very excited. We're going to do a time session. All right. We okay, can stop okay. touching each other. Um, <laughs> We're going to do a time session uh, up this wall. Um, we're going to figure out the punishment here in a second. Uh, right now, we're just concerned about who can get up this wall the fastest. Do you have any rock climbing experience, dude? No. I'm scared. <laughs> Let's go. I don't. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Th yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. All right. Well, we'll, we'll okay. let's get, to, get after it. I've, I, I don't have experience. I don't either. Okay. Um, Do you think short legs or long legs will fare in this? I don't know. I think it's more your mind. Awesome. So you can't have, I have to start with my feet on the ground. All right. Yeah. So Trent is going to be helping us uh, with keeping time. Fellow scissor sibling right here out of Camp Ra. Good dude. Eating dinners with Trent. Um, hung out in Indiana at this point, and now we're in a whole new state. How are you enjoying Camp Raw so far, dude? It's freaking awesome. Yeah, it is. All right, we're we getting set here in a second. Will I be sore? Yeah. Tomorrow? 
Maybe. Before or after? Oh, it's just too late for that now. And then what does your uh, the timer look like on your... Get a look at that. It's kind of hard to see. It. Kind of a little bit hard to see. Yeah, oh, that is. Yeah, it, it's just that. Maybe call it out. Maybe call it out. Yeah, I will. I'll, 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 I'll call it every thirty seconds or something like that. Okay, cool. Perfect. Lord, help me. <laughs> Lord. That's a pretty. Uh, you see this, Steve? Yeah. Look how tall that wall is, dude. Really tall. You excited? No. All right. I'm gonna do it anyway. Thanks for tuning in. What's up? Swirly. Swirly? For a punishment? Oh my goodness. What's, what's a swirly? What's a swirly? Dude, that's in a it's in a toilet. What do we do? Flushing the toilet with your head in it. That's like an old school Revenge of the Nerds thing. Well, I'm just trying to think of I it. like that, yeah. It doesn't have to necessarily be this one. No, no, I wanna do the swirly. I'll do it. Huh? Swirly it is. Swirly You're good? Trent. Uh, we'll see. Yes. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. All right. What yes. was your name, by the way? Steve. Steve. All and right. what was your name? I'm Anya. Anya. Guys, give it up for Anya for helping us out with this. Heck yeah. All right. Here we go. All right. All right. Do you have the timer ready? Yep, timer ready. Okay, Steve, are you ready? Yeah. All uh, right. Rock on climbing. Go. Yeah, you got it, Steve. Ooh. Oh man. My little spider monkey all grown up. Oh shoot. Oh my yes. He already almost freaking ate it, dude. 30 seconds. You're at 30 seconds, Steve. Oh my god. Feeling it. Oh. Yeah, you are doing really good. You're already halfway there, Steve. You got it, Steve. Come on, buddy. Think about it. Move your feet first. Huh? <clears throat> yeah. You're at a minute. I'm a little intimidated, to be honest. Dude, this is scary as fuck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I felt like Steve was going to drop on me like a pigeon. Oh my goodness. He lost his footing. He lost his freaking footing. Oh. Hey Steve, your butt looks real nice from here, man. Looks like a little Korean peach. At a minute 30. <laughs> Hey man, you gotta do trash talk and get inside the opponent's head whenever you're doing these challenges. It's very important. Steve's good at psychological warfare. I'm trying to dish it back to him a little bit. So close to that bell. Your left foot is right here. It's hard. You got it. You got this, dude. Two minutes. You're two minutes. Yeah. Got it, Steve. Bring that bell. So close. Bring that bell. He's pretty high up. Oh my goodness. What the yeah. frick? Mom, this is so terrifying tired. me. Every time, every time that he. Korean Ninja Warrior. He just said Korean Ninja Warrior. Something that I wanted to say but couldn't say. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're almost there. You got it. You got it, Steve. Come you on, you got it. Got it. Get that right foot on. That is that right so foot freaking foot. high up. That is so high up. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Oh, this is so hard. You're so close, Steve. You're you got this. Trent, what's the time? Uh, yeah, 2.53. 2.53, you're doing great, dude. I'm right there, Steve. It's right above you. Dude, I'm so... Bell. You got it. My arms. Take a break. So you got this, you got man. This, Come on. Shake the arms. My arms hurt so bad. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get, get that right foot up. Just jump right up and hit up. that bell. Get that right foot up and you got it. Huh. My arms. You got it, Steve. My arms hurt so bad. You're so close. You're like a foot away. 
Oh God, this oh. is so hard. You're so close, brother. The bell's right there. Get that foot up. There you go. Nice. Nice. You see it? It's Ooh. right there, Stevie. Yeah. That's that bell. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. Oh. Oh my God. Feel my fingers. Oh, I know. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Oh God. Oh, get that footing. Yeah. I don't know, man. Stevie, you're almost there. Think about that so punishment. Close. Yeah, dude. I'm swirly. You're away. You want you're your head? Away. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe. Poop on your face. I yeah, can't believe about the swirly. You got it. I can't believe we. Got it. I can't believe we agreed on that swirly. <laughs> I'm okay with the swirly. Stevie, you got this. <laughs> Look straight up. It's right there. There you go. That career. Get it. There you go. Get the bell. Get the bell. Get the bell. Yeah, okay. Time. 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 Okay. Right 4.31. Yeah, I don't know if we can. Oh my God. I trust you. That was fucking difficult. Great job. <sighs> <sighs> that was, that was hard. That was hard. 4.31. TJ, what do you think of Steve's performance? Uh, I think he did really good. I couldn't do anything like that. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not a height person. But he did great. You were so close. Right. Yeah, man. You got it. Dude, that's your Dude. First that was great, brother. It was harder than it looks. It looks really hard. Dude, I, I really wish you luck. I, I, I want you to do good. Because my arms hurt so bad. Oh, you, you hey, scuffed hey, up your knees a little bit, dude. You scuffed them up. Oh, my goodness. When did you do that? You got some band-aids downstairs. Oh, it's okay. Okay, 431, 431 is the time to beat. Oh. Chris, you ready for me? Yeah, he's gonna do it too. All right. All right, so you can selfie yourself. You tap on the back of this to see selfie mode like this, but I was standing underneath to, to like kind of keep a- I can't, I can't pick up my arms right now. They're really? That, yeah, they're that oh. sore. Here, Stevie? Yeah. Go like this, like that. Yeah, and just stretch, it stretch it out. Shake like, it out. So it out. I see your hands. Yeah. See so you, you go like this with the hands and push like this on it. Yes, yeah. <sighs> There you go. Stretch out your fingers. Like this. There you go. You want to know a really fun one that you look ridiculous doing? Go ahead. You're going to lie on the ground and lie with your arms under you like this. Stretches them out real nice. And you look like a fish when you do it. There you go. Yeah, yeah I've known my arms and I haven't felt like this in a long time. It felt like a wrestling They're match. Popping, right? They're popping. Yeah. Oh my God. That was so much a wrestling match. Yeah, oh, yeah I can't. Workout, man. I can't hold. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm I'll have Brian. I'll have Brian hold it. Yeah, he's gonna do it in like a minute. Is it hard for tall or short? It's harder for shorter people. It is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need to sit down. Oh. Oh. Okay. Cool. Good job, man. Well, he's going to kill it. I just, I stalled, and I, the more you stall, you, it gets worse. You got it in like a minute or 30 uh, We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I really don't want to get a swirly, so. I'm very anti-swirly. Oh, this is going to stretch all that plane back out. Yeah. Those toilets are only a, a year old down there. Oh, okay. Yeah. You chose the year old toilets. Here we go. And whenever the second foot leaves the ground? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's interesting. And... Oh. Real good. Oh, he's there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's so easy for him. Oh my God. Uh, looks like Steve's getting the swirly. Yeah, he's already there. That's not even fair. It's like Paul Bunyan versus a Smurf. Anya, you said it's easier for taller people. 
See, even she said, and he did it under 20 seconds. You're out of minute. He's got it. Some of these are hard, Steve. Does it get harder the higher you go? Yeah. He's got it. I was stuck. Yeah. He whooped my ass, and rightfully so. Good job, Jeremiah. Woo, baby! One minute, 13 seconds, baby! Woo! Soaking that view. You got me? Yeah, take a look out at the ocean. Look at the view. Oh, man, this is beautiful. <laughs> the low tide looks real Great good, time. brother. I can't wait to do the swirly. <laughs> Can we go down there afterwards and do the swirly? <laughs> Real, real good. You ready to get him? I almost, I almost fell off because he was making me laugh so hard. But yeah, I'm pretty ready to give him a sword. I cannot believe that he agreed to that because I didn't really want to do it. He's like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. I was like, I thought he was going to climb up like crazy fast. Okay, I want to get the swirly done immediately. Thank you, Anya. I thought he was going to climb up like crazy fast. No. Um, you got me? Yeah. Now, do I hold on to the rope? You can. Is that okay? Yeah, you just lean back and you, lift your leg. you kind of bounce against the wall like with your legs. Yeah, this is kind. Of, this is kind of scary right here, Steve. You got Just it? gloat on. You're the champ. Are right, you got me? I got you. Um, I'm scared. Uh, don't, don't. Just do lean the back and push your feet into the wall. Are you ready? Huh? <laughs> Oh yeah! I see he's performing. Oh yeah! He's performing. Oh yeah! He's performing. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, Daddy! <laughs> Swirly time, USA, brother! Swirly time. Here we go. I can't believe we agreed to that. So, sign up for Camp Raw. You can do fun activities like this with your scissor bro. Come every summer. <laughs> Spring, fall in, camp raw, R-A-H-A-S-H-A-S-H-A-S-H-A-S-H-A-S-H-A-S-H-A-S-H-A-S-H-A-S-H-A-S-H-A-S-H-A-S-H-A-S-H-A-S-H-A-S-H-A-S-
Tune it in. Uh, <laughs> Patreon.com slash is it roast too for the ex uh, exclusive content. Thank you. Oh, yeah, we're having fun. Care bra, baby. Care bra, man. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, my there was little poop pieces, though. <laughs> there what? There was a couple little poop pieces on the sides. Like they're little pebble poop pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. I don't want it back. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should soap my. Oh no, dude! You need to hop in there right now. No, 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 no! I don't want. I want to be a part of you guys. He's just wanting to, like, put hand soap on his. He doesn't want to shower right now. Dude, when he popped back up, <laughs> the poop smell hit my giant nose, and then I started gagging. He's a freaking trooper, man. Stevie Weeby. Real man right there. Oh, yeah. This is fun, man. I'm having a lot of fun. What's the next activity? <laughs> Um, hello? Is anyone still there? It's your pal, Gerald, and I want to apologize from the bottom of my heart for being negative when they gave me a spotlight earlier. They just haven't gone to me in a while, so I kind of spoke irrationally. It's okay. I love both of them very much, and they're good to me. And, you know, I just, I get frustrated sometimes and I haven't seen my kids in a while. Maybe they'll come back on an episode soon. Does anybody even remember that I have kids? It's been so long since I visited. Anyway, we all go through shit at different times. Sorry for swearing. But I'm going to turn this around right now and say that you're going to have a good weekend or a good week whenever you're watching or wherever you're listening to this. And... Just know that you're loved and keep those big dicks and clits swinging, my friends, because opportunity knocks to those whose mouths are agape. All right, gotta go. Love you. Bye. La la la. Good vibes only here. 